Images of the chaos and destruction in downtown San Antonio were quick to spread on social media. Some of those images showing people who were actually trying to single-handedly put a stop to the vandalism, but they were quickly overpowered. The night team's Patty Santos gives us a closer look. I actually seen him get jumped like two or three times, two or three different times that night. Jason Pavone shot this video in downtown of a man attacked by a mob. It was just like, a, like quit it, you know, like someone owns this. You know, it's not, these aren't the people that y'all are trying to go after, you know. As he continued to record the scenes in downtown, Pavone felt some in the crowd just wanted an excuse to start trouble. People were standing up against the people that were like breaking stuff, but there was very few, and so they just got overpowered. On social media, people were surprised to see genuine scenes like this one shared by Antonio Lee trying to make amends with the victims. I just wanted to be in there and show different points of view, you know. I'm not here on nobody's side but I do know right from wrong. Lee pleaded then and now for the community to unite in support of those businesses impacted. It hurt me to see how hateful some people can really be. Like the small businesses, like what do they got to do with what happened? In the video, Lee is talking to the owner of this yet to be open business and he told him he didn't have insurance yet. Hours later, we caught up with that owner. Well, it makes me a little bit upset. I mean, like, I'm glad I wasn't here or else things would have been a little bit worse. Once the broken windows are fixed, he hopes to be open in a week. Uh, but there's continued concern for that yet unidentified man who was attacked. I don't know if this dude's in the hospital. I don't know if he made it home. Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News.